BTR 1791, 75 pal, kill two birds, part one, take one. I'm out. John is back. Beat me porridge, done me time like a good little boy. And now I'm as free as a bird. Come on, come on, you old drunk. You heard me. Charlie's home and Charlie's rich. And now you and me is gonna have ourselves the time of our lives. Come. Charles. What's this? Hammer tonight. Welcome back. You killed him? He was going to warn you, Charles. Yes, he would, silly old. Or perhaps Tosha struck him a little too forcibly. Yeah, well, we've all got our little faults, haven't we? <clears throat> hey? What do you want? <laughs> oh, come along, Charles. You know what we want. Charlie's home and Charlie's rich. Yeah, well, there's got to be a drink around here somewhere. Oh, that's normal. Freddy, yeah, that's natural. Chap just does ten years in jail. Title to a drink here. It'll ease your throat, Charles, before you talk to us. Pass a moment. Perhaps we can do some business. You tell us where the money is, and who knows?
remember? We're making good money, but not getting anywhere, you know what I mean? Anyway, we both decided we would save every single cent for a year, and then we'd take off and do Europe. And that's what we're doing right now. Oh, hello, Sal. Uh, this is my friend Sally. Hello. Oh, well. We've only been a week so far in England, but we love it, don't we, Sal? Mm -hmm. But Rome was fun, too, you know. And Germany, have you ever been to Germany? And France, oh, the food in France, it's just marvelous. You know? Oh, sorry. <laughs> when do we go after France, Sal? Uh, Switzerland. Oh, yes. You know, I imagine I must be the only girl that ever went to Switzerland outside the skiing season and broke her ankle. Tripped on the hotel steps. <laughs> well, at least your travel insurance paid off. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I think so, am I? Yes, just about. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, Sal? Mm, terrific. Now, should we make a move? Oh, yes, sure. Leave it for a couple of hours before you comb it out. For goodness sake, don't get it wet. Okay, thanks very much. Um, here. This is for you. Thank you. Uh, have you paid the hotel bill, Sal? Mm, it's settled, and I've had them load the luggage into the car. Oh, great. Oh, I've got my camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Hey, I just want to pick up a couple of cards, okay? Terry? Oh, don't you think that's cute for Terry? <laughs> oh, and one for Aunt Emily. Ah, oh, let's see now. Oh, yeah, that'll do. Okay, that's it. Have you finished? Have you really finished? Sure, what are we waiting for? <laughs> hey, Sally, you're doing it again. You know the doctor said use a stick in the other hand. Yeah, but it's easy. Have a look in your book there, will you, Sally? Might be that one, you know, I don't know. What's it called? Did you catch the name of it there? I think it was called the Holy Cross or something. Anyway, there must be lots of these old churches here. You better have a look and see if it's that one. That's really England. Now, that is... You may have chipped the bone. The hairline fracture, really. Yeah, well, just fix it so it don't hurt so much, mm. eh? If I had an x-ray, I could check. But they took my equipment away, along with my right to practice, my brass plate, and my self-respect. My heart bleeds for you, Doc. And now they've even taken my driving license. Yeah, well, I can't say I'm exactly surprised. But you've still got a motor, haven't you? No, I was forced to sell it. Reduced circumstances. What's it matter? You've got one outside. It's hot. Or it soon will be. Hot? Well, get it away from here. Don't worry, it's out of sight. And I don't have far to go. You better try your leg. Yeah. <coughs> well, it's better. Still hurts like hell, but it is better. The snifter? No, 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 no. If I still had a car, I suppose you'd have taken it, would you, Charlie? Borrowed it, Doc. Mm. On account. Like this. I'm afraid you'll have to wait for your money. Oh, I've waited before, and I trust you, Charlie. You're all right, Doc. Only trouble is you drink too much. Always did. You and Busby. Busby? Have you seen him? How is the old soak? He's dead. Dead? Gadders, boys. You better go, Charlie. I don't want to get mixed up with Gadders. Don't you better worry, go, Doc. You. I was just going anyway. Well, thanks for everything, and as soon as I can, I'll send you your money. And a bonus. Well, whenever you can, Charlie. He's in the back way out of here. Yes, he's through there.
that motor around the back. Tosha? Yes, well, Tosha, I expect you'd better case the joint. Well, now, Doctor, how long has he been gone? Who? Oh, come off it. Your patient. He was hurt. He, he must have been hurt. How long gone? Well, you, you just missed him. Oh, how very remiss of me. I didn't know he was against you, Mr. Cather. If I'd known, I'd have turned him away. I wouldn't have let him... Oh, I bet him. you wouldn't. How badly was he hurt? Oh, shin, it could be a fracture. But he's mobile. Oh. There's no sign of him. He's mobile. All right, Freddy, get Tosha. Oh. Oi, Tosha! What did you talk about? Oh, this and that. Old times, you know. No, I don't know, Doctor. Mm. You tell me. Well, he, he didn't say anything. Physician, heal thyself. Huh? Any good at broken bones, Doctor? He didn't say anything. Nothing at all. Not even where he was heading? Uh, no. He, he said he wasn't far. Not far? I haven't got far to go. That's all he said. I swear to you, that's all he said. May we use your telephone, Doctor? Yes, it's there. Freddy, Big Tom, Lila, Scotch Percy. Anybody at all who knew Charles, in prison or out of it? I want to know what brings him schlepping all the way out here. Must have been for more than your healing hand, eh, Doctor? By the way, you wouldn't be holding out on me, would you? No. No, of course you wouldn't. Oh, look, isn't this beautiful here? It's lovely. Maybe we're just lucky. Maybe they knew we were coming. <laughs> we're saved. A gas station at last. <laughs> Thought we were never going to see one again. We're running out here rapidly. seem exactly keen for our custom, do they? Come on, some are. Yes, miss? Oh, uh, uh, fill her up, would you please? Yeah. And check the oil. Hey, do you want to come in? Okay. Oh, excuse me. Do you have a ladies' powder room here? Yeah, through there. My, that looks good. Oh, and cook you some if you want. Oh, I want. It's just a question of persuading my friend. She wants, too. <laughs> Shouldn't be too difficult. We both skipped breakfast this morning. I'll be right back. Okay.
Right then. You want eggs, bacon, for the whole works, eh? The whole works. Well, I might as well. Hello? Yeah, he's here. Who wants him? Okay, just a minute. Sammy! It's a phone! Okay, don't be long. Some of you wouldn't give his name. Yeah. Where are you? We're just a few customers. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, but when? When are you? Who was it? Ah, oh, there's a bloke running up for me to sell his car. Hang up. Hello? Hello? Dirty box. And are you an ex-doctor, doctor? With them um, medical. Well, that makes it all right, does it? <laughs> you say what you like as long as you say it in Latin. All perfectly respectable. <laughs> Ugh. How long have you been living around here? Oh, uh, nine years. Ten. Must know the area pretty well, then. Yes. So? Well, who lives around here that we might know? Or that Charles might know? Except your dear self, of course. I, I, you don't know. You don't know, or you're not telling. Well, they're just ordinary people around here, farmers. Ordinary people. Then why would Charlie come running all the way out here? After all, there are plenty of fallen doctors around. So why all the way out here? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Nothing. Dirty box. You know, we're going to get fat. Uh-huh and lose our waistlines, and spread across the beam, and no man will look at us, and we'll die childless spinsters. Oh, live for the moment, Sal. And these eggs. Mm. More coffee. Mm -mm. Uh, no, thanks. Oh, just a couple of those cookies. And biscuits. Hmm? Biscuits. Just one. Thank you. No, wait, well, no. You can play havoc with your waistline if you want. <laughs> OK, just one. You going far? Yeah, we want to see the castle. Oh, oh and the, oh. the Norman church? The sculpted gardens in the town. Well, you better hurry before the rain starts. Rain? But it's a fine day. You're in England now, my love. Rain's forecast. Oh. You finished? Uh, uh, yeah. I think yes. so. Oh, wait a yes? Looking for work. There's none here. Anything wash dishes, anything. I've got all the help I need. Thank I'm only with much. cars, too. Look, are you deaf or something? All right, so you got... You scuff coffee, darling. Come on. Oh, come, come on, on, Sammy. One cup of coffee? Yeah. What do you think you're playing? Look, there have been times when you could have used a cup of coffee too. Duh. I'll work for it. I told you there wasn't any work. Could we have the check, please? Yeah, sure. Um, that's 98 pence. Thanks, that was great. Yeah, if you have pass it again, Thank pop you. in. We're always open. Okay. Hours, so I'll start the car. Fine. 28 pence. Bye. You change that. Would you give him some breakfast, too, please? Sure. Oh. It's your lucky day, mate.
a cute little bridge, Sal. It really is. It's a bit narrow, though, isn't it? I think I'm going to make it. Yeah, there we are. Now, is it, uh, is it straight on or left? Straight on. Sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> Why here? Because I'm not in the mood for changing a wheel. And this is a farm, and where there's a farm, there's usually men. And my waistline's not gone so far, I can't persuade a man to help me. Well, at least if there's no one around, I can change it myself and not get my hair wet. That man said rain's forecast. Well, looks pretty sunny to me. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll see you. Hello. Yes. Are you certain? That's all right, Lila, but you better be certain. Well, well, well. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, Doctor. Oh, what? We're going to deprive you of our company. <laughs> but remember, we just might pop back. So while we're away, you're just going to sit there and you're not going to answer the phone, you're not going to answer the front door, you're not going to talk to anybody at all, do you understand? Now sit there and get a little more drunk than usual, eh? Read a dirty book, why don't you? No, don't bother, Freddy. Never know, poor chap might need a doctor.
baseline finally lets you down. There's no one there. The place is derelict. It's creepy. And there are rats. Oh, come on. Oh, well. I'll give you a hand. Thanks. Oh, no. What is it? Oh, wouldn't you just know it? What? There's no spare. I don't believe it. Honestly, that hire company. If you hadn't pulled off the road, we might have hailed some help. Now what? Well, I don't know. At a crummy old gas station, and that's more than a mile back. Yeah, well, you're never going to make that with your leg. Oh, well, I suppose I'll have to go alone. Are you going to be all right here by yourself? Sure, I'll be fine. Okay. Have fun. You never know. I might even manage to hitch a lift. If not, it'll be very good for your ego. Sammy, Belle. Sammy? Sammy, did you get that?
Tracy? Yeah, it's stolen, all right. Let's go and see what old Kemp knows about this. Yeah, all right. Wake up. Mm. Oh, what's, what's the matter? Stolen car outside. That's what's the matter. Take a look upstairs. Come on, doctor. Wake up. Stolen car outside. Somebody beat your door down. What's been happening here? Sleep. I don't want to sleep. Doctor. Mm. Kemp. <laughs> Tell Charlie I'm not home. Charlie? Charlie who? Well, Draper, of course. Charlie Draper. What about Charlie Draper? He finished his time today. Good old Charlie. He's a real friend. Who has he come to see first of all? Yeah, not on a boat. Oh. The place has been given a good going over, though. Mm. Draper, eh? Oh. He's been talking about it. Charlie Draper. Oh. Well, that's a common enough name. Must be dozens of them. Oh. But you stay here with him. Now, don't touch anything. Oh. I'll radio it. Come on, you. Oh. <laughs> yeah? It was stolen from outside the Bull Hotel at Mullington. Yeah. That's about 30 miles from where it was found. OK, got it. train you to talk, you might have said something interesting. Or was it only budgets to talk? Budgets, parrots, informers. I don't mind who, but nobody's talking on this one. Except you to yourself. First sign of insanity. You like being a sergeant, do you, eh? You plan to stay that way your whole life? You wouldn't do that. You're renowned for your pleasing and forgiving nature. Besides, I'll bring glad tidings. Yeah. The Dorchester police. Dorchester? Yeah, Dorchester. In the county of Dorset. There's cows and sheep and open spaces. Nothing ever happens. Except a struck-off alcoholic doctor knows your friend Charlie Draper. Go on. Claims to have been visited by him this morning. Spoke out of the depths of a drunken stupor. Did he mention anyone else? No. Uh, now, one on two interesting sidelights. There's a stolen car abandoned outside the doctor's house. Front door broken in. Traces of an injured person. Signs that somebody searched the place from top to bottom. Hmm. Dorchester, eh? It's a long way. And they say Charlie's always been light of foot and long in breath. Not that light of foot, not if he jumps through that window. Ooh. We'll go down there. Meanwhile, get back to the local force. Seven, start a search. 
If they find Charlie, pull him in. On what ground, Super? We don't have anything against him. Suspicion of murder. Busby. I thought you told me Busby was Charlie's best friend. Charlie didn't kill him. I know that. Sergeant. She's been drinking. Fertilizer? Right, you ought to stay here with him. Some top brass from London on the way down. Here, what about you? Look after him. London thinks he's important. Anyone there? Tracy, my friend, the girl who was with me. Yeah. Well, we had a flat and she started to come back here. Where is she? Mm -hmm. You haven't seen her. That was hours ago. Well, she didn't come here. But she must have. Or oh, maybe we were closed. But she never closed. You told us. No, I mean, maybe she thought we were closed. Well, she came in like you did. I was working out back. She couldn't get anyone to answer, so she used to lift back in a town. Yeah. <laughs> no, she wouldn't have done that. She would have uh, called a cab, used a no, phone. No, no, no. The phone's been out all day. It's, it's... Yes. What are you doing? I'm going to call the police. No. But don't you think I should? Listen, please, listen, you're doing what you're doing. Stop that! Now listen, when you stop it! 
I did my best, Mr. Gaddy. You heard me. I did what I could. She's just too pushy. I can't stand a pushy woman. Unless, of course, it's too pushy women. Look at me. Are you pushy? Oh, no! Oh, please don't hurt us! Oh, Sally, just do as they say. They won't hurt us. Just do as they say. Listen. Do you understand? If you don't play along, He's going to kill my wife. I'm not far away. I'm not far at all. Yeah, what was that? What do you say? I'll be rich one day. Rich. This Gadder gets there first. Gadder? That's better. And a cup for them, too. All nice and normal. Nothing to frighten him away. It's getting dark. He'd wait for the dark, Charles. You don't know he's coming. You're teaching me my business, Sammy. No, of course not. I'm just talking. Don't. Just don't. That's right. Nice and normal. He'll be here. He'd better be. Or I might lose my temper. Remember, we'll be watching and listening. Won't you, Tosha? just all of us get out of this in one piece. But you do anything, try anything that puts Carrie on a block and so help me, I'll kill you myself. Mr. Police. Now you get rid of him, Sammy. And quick. Now you two be very good, eh? And you keep your eyes on that table. Evening, Sammy. I'm oh, not another list of stolen cars. I told you, I'm careful. No, not this time. Close again. Yeah. Wouldn't be a cup of coffee going spare. Oh, yes. Sure. Um, ah. You're out of luck. The urn's empty. I'll, I'll bought some more up if you like. No, no, don't bother. You see many people today? See for yourself. Only customers all day. I'm thinking of selling out to an undertaker. Hey, good move, this. Nobody else. Like a man on his own. No. All right then, Sammy. Be seeing you. Say hello to Carrie for me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, officer. Struck lucky further up the road. Did a few hours on a job. Made a bit of money mend his tractor. Pay me own way now. If you're still cooking, I'll have four eggs or the trivets, right? You came back. Pay you back for breakfast now. Well, yeah. It's okay. Now, what well, I can pay, I like to. Come no, on. No, it's nothing. Oh, come on, I see. You heard the lady. She said no, thank you. Lots of bread and lots of bread. 
What's your name? You. Why? You want to send me a Christmas card? I want your name. Farrow. Just Farrow? Ah. Farrow F. Farrow. Father had no imagination. So you're on the road and got yourself a job? That's right. Where? Who with? Just a farm up the road. I didn't ask his name, he didn't ask mine. Probably not a nosy type. Did he own a good watch? Hey? Eh? A good, expensive watch, like this one. That's mine. Is it? And you prove otherwise. Doesn't seem to match the rest of your clothes. So charge me. Not now. But if I find out a watch like that's been stolen, I'll know you, won't I, Farrow? The Farrow F. Farrow. Good night, Sammy. Yeah. I'll see you. <laughs> now then, what about that grub? Um, didn't I hear you say the kitchen was closed? Yes, yeah. The, the wife's sick. All right, I'll settle for a couple of days. Uh, I don't think he was short typing here. Look, it didn't bother him this morning when I was paying with her well, money. It bothers him now. Is he telling me who are you? <sighs> Why don't you make that choice, eh? <laughs> okay. OK. Why don't you just go? Can't you see you're not wanted here? Just go. Now, come on, darling. Don't you start getting insulted. I'd like to oblige you, but this oversized baby is pushing me around. And I don't like being pushed... <laughs> I think. It's getting to be quite a party. How long has he been out? Since we got here, sir. A couple of hours? He said nothing at all, eh? Not to make any sense. Try me. Try me. Why? He said something about not far. Hmm? About being rich. Rich? Yeah. yeah. We'll all be rich one day, something like that. Hmm. Anything else? Just a name. Gadder. Hmm? Gadder. Gadder? Yeah, that's right. Oh, come on, do you want a request in writing? What did he say? Well, I think it was, uh... Unless Gadder gets here first. Unless Gadder gets here first. Is it important, sir? Hmm, <laughs> it's important. Is it important, Turner? I'll tell you, laddie. If anyone wants to push you in a pit of snakes or lock you in a room with Gadder, you choose the snake pit every time. not allowed to mark you till after. But I won't forget. That's a promise. Soon as it is over. Sit down, you two. Come on, sit down! Over. Well, that's what he said, as soon as it's over. As soon as what's over? What are we waiting for? We're waiting for Charlie. Charlie Draper. Your brother.
sorry. What did he do? Your brother. Was going to a lot of trouble to set him up. What did he do? He did his time. Ten years. Oh, there's got to be more to it than that. Oh, yeah. 275 grand more. Charlie specialised in banks. Big banks. But they never found the money. Is the money here? Nobody knows where it is. Or even if it exists. Our friends seem pretty sure. Who got that? He's a lunatic. Do you think he'd take no for an ass? Sammy. Just remember that I hear every word. You don't want her chastised, do you? A pretty scene, nice and normal. Well, you know, your brother, he's been set up. I don't know. He's a shrewd boy, Charlie. He's had our son that raps all these years. I may come along, look round and go away. Yeah, he could do. Where does that leave us? And your wife. See you, gentlemen. <laughs> Total oblivion. Oh, there are times I envy people like him. Snakes up the walls, shakes in the morning. Dropping out. No cares, no worries, no responsibilities. Come on. That's what we're paid for. We're paid to prevent crime and apprehend criminals. And here we are, out on a limb, trying to save one bad boy from another bad boy. Might be better for society if we let them get together. Let them have it out and then scoop up the survivor. It's immoral. Yeah. Not a bad idea, just the same. Except... Yeah. Well, from what I've heard about Charlie, he's hard, yeah. But only to his own kind. He was never violent to the public, more us. One of the old school. He must arrange a meeting for you two sometime. A nice little get-together, talk over old times. Mm. He's a thief-turner. He's a crook. A transgressor against the law of the land. Yeah, but not a bad guy, just the same. You're worried about him? I'm worried about Gadda. One of the new school. The public, us, anybody who gets in his way, he'll cut them down like scything wheat. Shut up. Where is he? What's keeping him? He'll be here. What's that noise? Other bat. It was foxes. Oh. Foxes? Well, yeah, you're in the country now, you know. We get foxes, rats, all kinds of vermin. Freddy, give me a shooter. Check round the back.
Do you know what I think? Us, don't you? No. What don't you see? We know his name. We know who he is. Do you think they're going to leave us around to tell him? Staying here till we hear something more. Well, I'm in this area. It makes sense. Draper is too. And Gadda? Gadda, sir. Yes, it is a new development. I agree, sir. A nasty one. All right, sir. I'll keep you informed. They're all right, Jeff. I'm going to come and see. Yes. Uh, Wilson, sir. Constable Wilson. Oh, sir. yeah, we can see you, Constable. Must be a uniform. Detective Superintendent Dexter, I'm Sergeant Turner. What do you want? To report, sir. Report what? That there's nothing to report, sir. Oh, that's very nice, isn't it, Turner? Well, I've been all around the area, sir. All the people and places I know. Uh, nothing unusual, sir. Oh, crime a bit slack around here lately, is it? No rapists or murderers or suspicious-looking characters hanging about at all? Well, there was one, sir. Oh, yeah? Kind of uh, hippie type, sir. Oh, they're the very worst, Constable. They conceal Tommy guns in their guitar cases. And even the music they listen to is criminal. According to my judgment, sir, he was a suspicious type. Oh, wearing a mask, was he? Carrying a kit of safe breakers tools? No, sir. He was wearing a watch that was at variance with the rest of his appearance. Oh, at variance. Do you hear that, Turner? Yes, sir. His clothes were torn and poor, sir. Very poor. But his watch was expensive. Now, ordinarily, I would have made further inquiries, sir. But as we were after bigger game, I lent on him a little bit, left it at that. What kind of a watch? It was a wristwatch, modern. Rectangular face, light brown background, modern numerals, and the strap and the case appeared to be gold. Yeah, it was. Well, I couldn't say for certain it was. Barrow. What makes you think it was him? Ah, it can't be anyone else. That watch is like his signature. Barrow? Yeah, he said that was his name. Where did you see this, Ibby? Oh, just down the road, sir, at uh, Sammy's place, sir. That's a uh, uh, fill-in station come snack bar, sir. Anyone else there? Two or three other customers, sir. Seem to be respectable kind of people. Your car outside? Yes, sir. Right, let's go and have a look at this place, Turner. Barrow's one of our boys, undercover. He's been on Charlie's tail ever since he left prison. Here, do you know how to keep an eye on Sleeping Beauty? Oh, I think I can manage that, sir. <laughs> the 
It's a laugh, isn't it? You were supposed to be setting Charlie up. Who's a sitting duck now? Oh, shut up. Charlie's calling the tune now. I said shut up. Sammy. Sammy. Come here. Come here. Come on. Turn round. I've got Sammy. Do you hear me, Charles? Oh, you got to keep it very still. Charlie! Charlie! Come on, Charlie. 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 Come all right, Amlet's coming, driver. Stay late, they never know, copper. Johnny. Now listen, Johnny. Where we put the money? Hmm? Come on, Charlie. The money. You're not going to believe this, but I don't know where it is. Hmm? You see, it was my brother here, Sammy, what did it? He's the only one who knows where it is. Go on, Sam, tell a nice gentleman. Ain't gonna be no more use to me. You heard him. It's about a mile away. There's a, there's a derelict farm. It's got... It's got a big barn. It's up in the north. <laughs> A milkshake.